Ben, what did you think of the way uh, Will played in his first kind of true start, knowing he was going to go into it this week? Well, I think he played really well. Um, I saw how much he prepared during the week and how comfortable he was taking all the reps with the ones. Um, I definitely feel like he came out ready. Second week in a row, he's throwing a beautiful ball to you. He finished in the end zone. Mm -hmm. How good was that throw? It was awesome. Um, it's kind of a broken play a little bit. I just turned around, we locked eyes, and I knew he was going to throw in there. It was a great ball, a uh, perfect placement to allow me to get it. What's a, What did the week look like maybe a little differently with him, you know, being the number one guy and not really being any questions about it? Um, I wouldn't say the week was much, di much different. Mm -hmm. um, I think – they trusted him and everybody was kind of had his back. So it, it was just kind of a normal week. Um, I didn't think anything was different other than the twos weren't, yeah. he wasn't with the twos, you know. Yeah. How wild was that first quarter to be a part of? It was crazy. Every time you blink, someone would score, something would happen. Um, it was fun. It was one of the most fun quarters I've probably played. <laughs> How close do you guys feel to get into that Big 12 championship game right now? Um, we're, well, we're one game, so I uh, got to worry about this next week. Um, we, we don't like to look ahead too much uh, and just, like, take it day by day. I know I say it a lot, but uh, day by day, um, week by week. So we're just looking towards KU. How much more of a weapon is DJ Giddens coming for you guys with each game? Oh, you can just – he's becoming a really good weapon. Um, you can just see it. Uh, his confidence is getting – is increasing so much more. Um, when he gets the ball, he's just running hard downhill, getting the yards we need, especially when you need to run the clock out.